Hi, my name is Joanne Cook. Today we're going to graze our way through Venice, also called La Serenissima, and we're going to experience the unique tapas of Venice called Chiquetti. No visit to Venice, or to Italy for that matter, is complete until you've had a meatball. I've recently been to Cortina, so we're going to prepare a meatball Cortinese style. That's from the Veneto region. So let's get going. The meatball is really an integral part to Italian living and life. It seems to be the one um, issue over my family's dining room table on a Sunday. Is Aunt Marie's meatballs better, or my mother's? So there's so many ways of deciding that. I have a different recipe from my um, mother and my grandmother. I have chosen to ask my butcher to double mince, and I use veal uh, in this recipe. If I use another meat, it would be pork, pork and veal combination. I prefer to beef. I loved it double minced. It will be quite um, easy to work with. So I've got 500 grams of the veal ready to go. I'm going to start with one egg. Again, depending on your amounts, you might need two. I'm going to add some fresh breadcrumb, which I make my own breadcrumb from uh, crusty Italian bread. I uh, do it in the Cuisinart, and then I add some uh, parsley. I'm going to put a good handful, maybe even two handfuls of breadcrumb. I'm going to add some more parsley because I love a green meatball. And of course, we're going to add a good handful of pecorino or reggiano. Again, it's your choice. I've grated it very carefully. My little secret ingredient would be to add a bit of olive oil. It just seems to keep the meat moist. About a tablespoon, I think. All right. And there's not much to it. We're going to mix it all together. I'm going to see about the texture. I might even add milk. Depends. If I want to add more breadcrumb, it's sort of an equal amount of breadcrumb to cheese and a little bit of milk. Not a necessity, though. And in the Veneto region, they will do this recipe as I'm doing, but they will basically fry them and then cover them in, um, in a bit of veal broth or um, meat or vegetable broth, and they'll create... Uh, sort of a gravy. It's a different sort of a meatball to the one that I know. I might add a bit more breadcrumb, finish it off with the cheese, and we're ready to go. Now, if you're watching calories in your fat, you could actually roll these and bake them for 20 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. I prefer very much so to fry them. I think it's just they get a crispy edge, there's more taste in the frying, so we're ready to go. A light olive oil for frying. Um, and another secret to the meatball is, let's just see, yeah, it's sizzling, great. We can do it any size, be being as we're talking about Venice and Chiquetti, we're going to keep them rather small. And the secret is also not to overroll them, they really have to be sort of messy, malfatto is how we should do that. That was, uh, it was my aunt who told me that secret, and uh, my paternal grandmother was amazing at meatballs. I don't think we ever learned her secret, unfortunately, so we're still searching for the perfect meatball. We're going to fry these rather quickly. We're going to put them on a bed of arugula, and then we can gather all of our cicchetti. There we go. We definitely want to make sure that the oil is hot. They don't have to be perfect. Okay, we've fried them for a couple of minutes on a pretty high flame. And the thing I want to show you is they're just starting to brown very nicely. That's the, that's the best part of a meatball, I think, is the crunchiness on the outside. We don't mind keeping it a little undercooked inside. If you don't mind that, otherwise you would have to lower the flame and just give it a chance to cook well. But um, I like that crunchy edge. And that's it, a few more minutes and we'll be ready to serve these up. There we go. Again, size doesn't matter. Uh, because we're doing something like chiquette, I think we're keeping them small. 
and you can think of the variations you'd like to do, whether it be including lemon or creating a bit of um, a gravy sauce with them. Okay? But this is the easiest way for me. On a bed of rocket, perfecto. They look like they're done now. I'm just going to put them on some paper toweling, take out some of the oil, let them cool down only for a minute or so. We really do want to eat these warm, if not hot. We're going to be ready to plate up in about two, three minutes. Great. Very simple preparation here. I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil on my rocket. How about some of that beautiful balsamic we were talking about? A little bit of salt and pepper, ever so slight. There we go. And let's just place these polpettine. So beautiful. Again, veal, egg, some wonderful pecorino or Reggiano Parmigiano, and we're ready to enjoy our polpette in Venice. <music>